Hi friends, nice to see you again. Um, today I am here with a tutorial on how to use a card, um, like card front die. And we're going to create, let's see, one, two, three, four, I think five Valentine's Day card at warp speed. These just come together that quickly. And this is, oops, sorry, I'm shaking things around. So I kind of have some stages done. I think I can make these in under 10 minutes, um, but we're going to find that out. Even if it's 15 minutes to make five really detailed, high quality cards, I think that's that's a deal. If you watched my last haul video um, that was just posted on Saturday, I this is one of the dies that I picked up. And here you can see how that cuts. When that cuts, it gives you all these negative pieces as well. So what I did is I used two different um, scrap pads. I think I used Doodlebug Designs, the Lots of Love Collection, and an older but still available Honeybee Stamps Hugs and Kisses set. And they coordinated beautifully together. Stacked one of these plates together so you can see when this cuts out, um, I am going to, if I can show you here, what I do is I take this piece off, I'm going to snip this, and then this is immediately going to my scrap pile because there's a lot of life left there. But then what I'm going to do is separate these out, and this is what I've already done. This will be my last piece, and I'm going to save this. But then all these negative space pieces, I'm going to group together and put them over here separate. And then when I go to put this back, because these are all coordinated papers, it's going to create almost a patchwork effect on the card. So what I wanted to show you, so here we can do five cards and each one of these will be a base. So if I've got another blank here. You'll see that will be a base, 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 and base, but they're all going to be using the same papers to fill in those pieces. So what I'm going to do is put together one here. You don't need to watch me do all of them, but you'll get the idea. So I've got a simple pre-cut um, note card size piece of paper or card base and I am going to use glue, but as I, liquid glue, as I started, I realized that if you wanted to use a, what's it called, like the glue sheets, you could cut that to size and this would probably go a lot faster. Um, but all the same, even with liquid glue, this goes quick. The one benefit to do the, um, this outline frame is obviously gives you a minute to move things around. So I'm going to put glue on the first two pieces here. And I kind of already picked these out in the order that I wanted them to go. I should have double checked this though. Um, a lot of these papers are two sided. So I do need to be mindful to make sure I get them in the right place. So this one, it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Obviously that one fits perfectly right there. So I know that one goes there. This one is gonna go directly under that heart. Pretty easier to put it on here. And literally they just slide fit into, into place because it's recessed now and that makes it really easy to put it in there. So this one will go here, so I'll add some adhesive. And again, as long as you're using coordinated papers, it doesn't matter which position they move to. Obviously, if your base is this, I don't wanna use that one um, to fill in the spaces. So I'm gonna have extras of, of this one, but then I'll use it on another and it will all make sense. Um, what I do wanna line up is these, these equal size strips and coordinate where they go so that they line up and I don't have too many next to each other. You know what I mean? These are very specific in where they'll go. 
So that one's going to go right there. So we'll adhere this one. And this one's specific. I just, you know, I'm a fan of really quick stuff. And I love how, how you can make almost a full set. If you are selling your cards, this would be, I think that one's going to go there. This one's going to go here. The red's going to go, I have cat hair all over everything. Please ignore that. All right, and then this one's going to go there. So let's get those last couple in. I'm probably getting my head in here, aren't I? I don't mean to. If you're making cards to sell, oh my golly, this would be a great one. Just because it goes together so dang fast. And I, you know, not everybody's comfortable mixing and matching papers. That's the beauty of using a, if you use a single paper collection, you already know that they coordinate well, so you don't have to worry about that. It's when you start pulling in multiple collections, you gotta be a little more careful. All right, and then the last piece is gonna be this heart, which is gonna go in the center. So while this card is certainly cute, it still feels sort of like a base. So to finish it, I think we have a couple options. So there's our base. You saw how quickly that came together. If you added just a sentiment to this, I feel like this is a fantastic card as is. That feels full and complete. To start on my next one, I simply take a different background. And again, don't, let's say I'm using my tip. If I'm using the pink as the background, I'm going to avoid using any of these pink coordinating papers. Instead, I will work off of these four to fill in. And then when I go to this background, I'll avoid this one and use these four. You're going to end up with, the, I think, the equal number at the end so that they're all mixed and matched beautifully. And then let me show you, we'll, we'll finish one of these cards um, with a couple options. So let me show you what I want to do. Okay, so let's talk about a couple different ideas to finish this off. I went ahead and put together a second card. I'm going to show you two different ideas, again, both really quick. I did off camera stitch the heart because I love me some stitches. Um, totally not necessary though. I think there's enough oomph going on. You know, and I could have took stitches further if that's your thing. This would look great framed in a stitch. You could even do different stitches along each line. But again, our goal here is a quick card where we can put together, assemble five complete cards really quickly. So what I did was I pulled from my stash. I have some of these little tags put together. I have some flowers put together and some pre-cut leaves. So I thought this coupled with this like that, boom, done. There you go. That's one way to finish it. And then I always, when I get new dies, and if you watch my haul from, um, I think it was Saturday, I had hauled this this die. So when I get something like that, I'll go ahead and put together some in different colorways based on collections I know I'm using. So I can grab it, just throw on some adhesive, and then this can sit right there. And this is a finished card. It's going to slide into an envelope, has a little dimension, but not too much dimension. And this is ready to go or sell. I feel like it's sale quality. Um, and again, I could batch five of these probably in 15 minutes tops. That's still less than five minutes a card. Once you cut, it's cut and go. It's just so quick. So I hope this is helpful to you. Um, 
I I think I'm going to be doing a series on this. I did get some questions um, with my last couple hauls about how I use these cover, cover plates. And I had indicated this is one of the reasons why I get them. So that I can make really quick cards. So I'm going to, I think in the next couple videos or in the next couple weeks, show you a, a few different ways that I use them. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If uh, you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so you get notified when a new video posts. And thank you so much, friend, for watching. Have a great day.